hey what's up youtube welcome to one little coder stable diffusion discord bot is back and you should be using it today the reason why is because now you don't need a gpu and every iteration like if if it's a default setting it takes less than 10 seconds for you to generate an image you don't need gpu you don't need google collab you don't have to set up anything all you have to do is go to discord and start pasting your prompt and then you can get a very nice stable diffusion image back and i'm going to show you in this video how you can do it if you are somebody who has been following stable diffusion from the start you would know that before stable diffusion became mainstream discord bot was one of the ways to use it so if you are a member of that discord bot um, then you can still go there and use it but let's say you are not a member of discord bot what you have to do is open your browser and then type discord.gg slash stable diffusion discord.gg slash stable diffusion and once you go there you can pick one of the dream bot channels so once you enter there you will see this thing scroll down and then see if you can see any discord bot channel you can see the dream bot dream bot dream bot you have a lot of dream bot channels all you have to do is enter into one of the channels click there and uh, start typing slash dream once you type slash dream then you have an option about dream about a prompt or interrogate an image for details this is very similar to what the clip interpreter does but for now let's stick to dream about a prompt click dream about a prompt and then you get the next option where you have to paste the prompt and as usual we're going to go to lexica copy a prompt come back to the discord bot paste the prompt once you paste the prompt then you can click tab click tab on your keyboard now you have got more options available what are the options you can specify the number of steps you can specify the aspect ratio you can specify the cfg scale factor you can specify seed width height number of samples that you want if you want to do image to image if you want to give any initial image the image strength if it is uh, image to image if you want to do outpointing, if you want to select the latest version 2.0 model and then you have got a lot of other options. So let's first start with something basic. So I've given the prompt and then I've given I've given the tab and then after I have given the tab and I'm going to go say um, I want the model which is 7, 768 by 768 2.0 and you can still add more options. I can go ahead and then set a seed value 42. If you are familiar with scikit-learn, you would know that this is one of the most popular seed value for the machine learning engineers. The number of steps, I can say the number of steps could be fine, 25. And then type enter. The moment you type enter, it is going to say dreaming for one little coder. And this is what it is dreaming. And these are the values or parameters that were passed along with the value. And here you go. In just less than 8 seconds, dreamt in 8 seconds, using 7.7 .7 seconds of compute we have got this image back now you know you know how to add more parameters to it it's not rocket science all you have to do is click tab and then it will help you add new parameters but what i'm going to show you is what are the options that you hear for example you can increase the number of steps here you can adjust the guidance the scale of the diffuser guidance or the most interesting thing for me is you can do out painting before you do out painting, simply what you can do is you can re-dream it. First click re-dream it and then see what you get. Most likely you might get the same thing because you would have specified the same seed value. But very luckily what DreamBot does is when you say re-dream it, it's going to replace the seed value with some other value which is good because if you give the same seed value, you would get the same image now. Now what we can do is we can get a different prompt let us go here and then say maybe i should say emma watson emma watson okay so this is um emma watson cool um copy the okay this is this is nice at least copy it come back here and then say dream and then paste it and then run it now you're going to get an image the reason why I went there is because I want to show you outpainting. Um, outpainting is one of the most interesting aspects at this point. I would still say Dali. Is this Emma Watson? I mean, seriously. Okay, this is not working out fine because we were using uh, the 2.0 model, which does not have 
a lot of celebrities you can as you can see let's do dream and then let's select the model let's do model the model is 1.4 can i select 1.4 1.5 so what are the models I have okay so we are not given any option except just selecting options matching to 5 1.4 okay we just get only one option so it's a bad idea to use a celebrity picture at this point maybe an epic paint of minion okay let me copy this come back here paste this paste this what to dream about and then send it once we send it let's wait for it to dream which will about which will take about eight seconds which is amazing given that you can create okay dreaming it's still not done maybe this time it's going to take 10 seconds okay we have got the image now what i can say is expand image using ai outpainting so what are the things that we can do we can increase or upscale the image here you can do that second thing is you can outpaint upwards and downwards you can outpaint only upwards you can outpaint only downwards left and right left right left and right left right you have so many options so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say out, up, out paint left and right. And then I've clicked it. Now it's going to actually out paint left and right using this init image. So is there any difference here? You can see it is just using this image as an init image. We have still not got the result where we wanted to do out painting. And is if you have been using stable diffusion, you know the out painting takes time. Okay, this looks cool. Now I can still go ahead and then out paint. I can do left, right, out paint. Once again, it's going to take 16 seconds. In this case, it took 16 seconds. And we can get the image out painted on the left and the right with relevant out painting. I still believe DALI is the best out painting tool at this point. Um, maybe I might change my mind after using uh, this dream bot for a while. Okay. We have done out painting. Um, it's not as great as um, we would have probably expected, but it is going on. So you can see that it has expanded. Like when we had the first, we had the first image that looked like this, then we expanded and then we finally expanded more. And that's what we have got. Now we can use this and then say redream it. And then now it, it can use the same prompt and then it can redream with a new seed value, but with the width with which we have finally got the init image because that's the parameter that goes into it for the width. So overall, it is so simple for you to create stable diffusion images. Like I said, no need for GPU, no need for Google Colab, no need for automatic. I mean, those things are helpful if you want to do a lot of things. But if you just want to do text to image or basic image to image or out painting, this is absolutely an interesting option. All you have to do is, like I said, go to dream discord.gg slash table diffusion once you go there scroll down and then you would see a section of dream bot channels like here and get into one of the channels copy the prompt from lexica.art and start playing with the stable diffusions new or old discord bot that has been revived again and uh, this is an amazing development once again kudos to the stability.ai or stable diffusion community and the team for putting this together you can also explore a lot of other options in the discord bot if you have if you have never seen there are a lot of things that people share here a lot of tips that people share here a lot of things that i've learned about stable diffusion is from here and again this is another in interesting tool for you to do upscaling if you want to do upscaling you can again use this without having to install the model yourself so overall we have got enormous opportunities to do using stable diffusion discord bot i hope this video was helpful to you if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, happy stable diffusion.